Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I've spent many of hours trying to help somebody on this pattern. And if you look, it's every, it's always a little bit different. They wanted this shape. Uh, this was pretty close. I mean, I just took away the parts, but the two edges are different than the other two edges. And this one probably came out the best. And so you're not going to learn too much from these, but I just did this one and it's all equal. I mean, the corners are the same and how I did it. I, I have a rectangle and I am going to nudge. Let's see what my nudge factor is. Uh, let's make it like five and let's nudge this part of the frame out of the way. And then let's, Put this right on the edge. Now, it's just not on the edge. It should snap right to it. Yeah, and we don't even have to, but you're gonna see in just a second. So the easiest thing, object to path kind of works for this, but I just kind of uh, figured something out. So we're gonna go object to path and maybe put like, oh, 22 of them and see I've got my rotation to the bottom so you click on your object first then shift collect select your your path and hit apply and that's pretty good but the corners aren't right so i started thinking what if you broke the lines of half in part so we're going to go and convert this to a curve we're going to get our shape tool we're going to select them all we're going to right click and break them apart now, to really make them work, you've got to go and break the curve apart. Now you've got individual lines. So we're going to grab that, grab that one, and let's do four copies. That looks pretty good. And see, it's even. Now, let's uh, make a hit the plus key on the keyboard, start moving them, and have put them down at the bottom. They should snap right to it. I didn't evidently make a copy. Um, and there's a mathematical, let's see here. This box, this line is 10 inches long. This thing is one inch. So we ought to be able to change our nudge factor to 11, maybe. Let's control D and make a duplicate. And there we go. Now we can take another one and shift select this one, this line. And let's go six and see what it did. It put it right on the mark of the other one. Now, I don't think this is mathematically, it's, well, we could move them. Let's go 7.284, 7.284. Let's select all these, control D and make a duplicate and look at that. I also made a duplicate of my lines. We can delete that. Now, if we bring in our other rectangle, which is the outside of our box, well, remember I changed my nudge factor. I think it was set on oh, five inches. Yep. It's always good to remember that. So it is, at least the corners are the same. So I'm hoping I'm help this young person. Uh, it's a pretty cool pattern. Uh, it might not be what he's looking. I really like these. They look like, almost look like, when you look at them like that, it doesn't look like anything. But when you zoom out, it looks like interweaving. And these are just, all this is done is I just filled in the access part. Like, hopefully it'll work with a smart fill tool. Nope, got too many leaks. But that can be fixed. You could make, you know, one of them in snap to it or something. But this is more what they were looking like. They wanted pattern to go around the the edges, and it was pretty easy. Um, I guess you'd have to do it with even numbers. You know, like I picked six and four, four across and six down. Anyway, I hope that helps somebody just a little bit. Thank you for watching.